Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new to the channel, this is the channel where I cover two of my most favorite hobbies, that is statue and figure collecting and reef keeping. Today I'm going to provide an update on my automatic water change system and my automatic ATO top-off system. We're down in my collection room, and as you may have noticed, if you've been subscribed to my channel, my introductions always say this is the channel where I cover Two of my most favorite hobbies, that is statue and figure collecting and reef keeping. Well, as you can see, this is part of that statue and figure collection. So this is part of my collection room. So uh, this is just to show you that I do make videos uh, related to statue and figure collection. But if you are a reefer, don't let those discourage you. I still want you to subscribe to the channel and to watch the videos. Don't give up if you see me talking about uh, all of my, uh, 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 you know, statues and figures. So, so, and here we have the room, which is the bathroom that I've dedicated pretty much to my water storage. And we'll start here on the left. We have this 35 gallon water storage container. Now, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't recall exactly where I, I purchased this from, but it was online, but I had it for several years now. It's a 35 gallon graduated water storage container, and I use it to mix my uh, salt water with. I have this Tropic Marin and Reef Crystals. I, I sort of go between the two. Reef Crystals is more cheap, but it doesn't mix as well as the Tropic Marin. Tropic Marin is more than twice the cost of the reef crystals, but you know, it mixes pretty well. So I'm not sure which one I may end up going with uh, in the long run, but you know, I'm sort of testing them both out. But anyway, as you can see, I, you have, we have this cord that goes right inside of that container and that is a cord for the power head that mixes the salt with the water. It also has a little spout where I can drain the water on the side here. And I have these tubes that are coming from the ceiling. So I cut out a piece of the ceiling to fish these tubes through and one would draw water out from this tank and it would be pumped up into the sump of my tank for during the water change. And I have another tube that drains some of the water from the sump and it pumps it down into this drain. There's another yellow tube that comes from this four stage filter system and it provides wastewater that goes down into that drain as well. And right here on the right side, we have my RODI water container. So this holds about 10 gallons of water. And as you can see, there's also a line inside of that container where the Versa pump, I have a Versa pump upstairs that draws water out of this container and up to the ceiling where I sort of kind of fist some lines through the ceiling up to the top here and up through those pillars. If you've seen my other, uh, my most recent video, you know my tank is, uh, is sort of in the middle of two pillars and I fist this line through one of the pillars as you're going to see in a minute and that line goes up through the pillar and to the Neptune dose and versa. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here we are on the first level where the tank is located. And as you can see, there's a plant right next to it. Now, this plant is used to hide my uh, quote unquote uh, dirty laundry. And what that is, I'm really horrible at cord management. So I use this plant to hide that. So we'll go behind this plant. And as you can see, I have this cabinet with a Neptune dose hanging on the back of it. And right below that, we have the 
Ecotech Versa pump. So the Versa pump is to pull water up from the basement. As you can see, I have this pillar right next to the tank. And I was so lucky on my first attempt of drilling my ceiling down in the basement to fish these lines up through, I happened to get it right inside of this pillar. So that's what I was hoping for because it was hard to measure the distance from the wall to the pillar and knowing exactly where to drill downstairs to make it right inside of this uh, inside of this pillar so I wouldn't be uh, missing you know the pillar and making unnecessary holes. I got it on the first try and I was very proud of myself. And I also cut out a piece of this drywall in this pillar and fish the lines through it. So you have this Versa pump that draws water up from the uh, fresh water or RODI container and it pumps it into my ATO containers inside of my tank here. So the only problem with this is it doesn't work well. This pump is uh, not strong enough to really pull water very well from the tank. So it sort of drips into, into the ATO uh, container. So I have to run it a lot to actually get it to refill the ATO system. So I don't find it very practical. You know, it can maybe slow down maybe a day or two of me having to top off that ATO container, but uh, I need another uh, another solution. But this Neptune dose works very well and drawing water up from my salt water uh, storage container down in the basement. And as you can see, they have the, we have the lines here. It pulls the water up and it puts it right inside of my, uh, inside of my uh, sump. And I have another head here that has two heads. So the other head draws water from the sump and pump it down into the drain that I showed in the first uh, segment of this video. All right, so let's go and take a look at my ATO containers. So here is the compartment that houses my ATO containers and some other containers here. And as you can see, uh, this is more wires. So uh, this is a really a snake's nest of wires. And uh, I, I have a leak detector <laughs> uh, just in case some water gets down in here and it will shut everything down. But of course I need a better solution for this, but uh, you know, I, I can at least hide it. I can at least <laughs> close that door and it doesn't have to be seen. But uh, I still am hoping that I can find a way to manage all this, but it's kind of looking sort of hopeless for me. So anyway, uh, I have some containers here. One uh, for dosing nitrates, I have this BRS pump that can pump nitrates in it. I really don't dose nitrates anymore because the tank is nice and mature now and it really doesn't need it. And I have an empty container here and a waste container for the Trident and a container for magnesium, alkalinity, and calcium. And I have these custom made ATO containers, one uh, 10 gallon container and one five gallon uh, container. And I have Neptune P-Mups inside of each to pump water into my sump to, uh, for when it evaporates. So it all works out uh, not as well as the automatic water changes because again that Versa pump is too weak and I'm not sure if I just want to invest in another uh, uh, Neptune dose just to pump water from uh, from the basement I may be fine just you know just topping this off manually but you know my idea when I was setting up this system was to <laughs> have it automated as much as I can but that's also kind of you know, it's also kind of dangerous too because it kind of takes you out of, out of the tank and away from the tank much. And you really want to be hands-on with your tank as much as you can, uh, you know, for your own enjoyment and make sure you're staying on top of everything. If things are too automated, you can become detached from the tank. So I'm not, you know, too <laughs> disappointed in that. 
you know, it still gives me some things to do, but I just don't want it where I'm always putting my hands on the tank or the equipment. So I think, you know, with everything I have in place, I've been able to enjoy my tank more without having to always do some sort of maintenance on it, which has been great. So here you are seeing my dirty laundry is like uh, uh, a video of my uh, bedroom or something. You've been in there. This is like exclusive footage right here. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that bell notification so you can be alerted to any new videos I may drop. And just as I said in the beginning of the video, that you may see some videos of me talking about my statues and my figures. But don't let that discourage you. You know, there'll be another reef video coming soon. Until the next reef video, peace. There's one set for